Well, sad news to report this morning. A woman has died after being involved in a crash in the West Chase area overnight. It happened a little after 1030 last night after the driver admitted to police he was arguing with that woman and then struck a tree as he traveled westbound on Richmond Avenue is when it all took place around the 9300 block of Richmond Avenue. The woman was taken to the hospital where she later died, but the driver is expected to be OK, and he's also cooperating with authorities this morning. Police are investigating what led to the shooting of a four year old in Katy overnight. The parents tell police they were involved in a road rage incident on the Katy freeway around nine o'clock and the child was shot in the left arm. They told police they ran out of gas on the way and the host to the hospital and had it hitch a ride. Well, upon further questioning, the grandmother told police the shooting actually happened at their home. Now the circumstances are unclear, but this investigation is ongoing. Meanwhile, police are looking for two suspects who broke into a maintenance building at an apartment complex and stole more than $3,000 in equipment. We actually have the camera. They had video surveillance, and these are photos from it. It reveals these two suspects breaking into a building at the Videla's Cypress Wood Apartments Tuesday night. Look closely. The suspects actually stole a general wire speed rotor sewer cleaning machine valued at over $3,000. As you can see, they are described as two black males, one wearing a white T-shirt along with blue jean shorts and black shoes. The second one is the one wearing the black Adidas jacket with a white T-shirt, blue and white shorts and white shoes. They fled the scene in a dark colored pickup truck, possibly a Chevrolet. If you have any information you recognize these suspects, contact police immediately. Three people have been arrested in connection to a prostitution sting at an unlicensed massage parlor. The two women were arrested and charged with prostitution, while a man was charged with solicitation of prostitution. Police made their arrest Wednesday after complaints of misconduct and prostitution reported at the massage parlor on East Luetta Road. Upon further investigation, police found the establishment to be unlicensed as well as the employees. They were all booked with $100 bonds. Houston deputies need your help in locating a missing woman. This is Maria del Rosoyo. She goes by Rosie, and she's been missing since 5 a.m. yesterday. Deputies say she was last seen leaving a home on Crooked Post Road in Postwood wearing a white shirt, pink bottoms. If you see her, please call police or the Constable Mark Herman's office at 281-376-3472.